in the mix. SKM presents Strictly for the Music Podcast. You are now live with the number one podcast for all upcoming artists worldwide. It's the real. The real deal. Welcome back to another episode, Strictly for the Music Podcast. I'm your host, SKN. The next guest I got live and direct is a singer, rapper, and a songwriter. He's affiliated with two bands, Space Cadets and Supreme Team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Distract. What's up, man? How's it going, man? Good. Trying to keep up. What about you? I appreciate you coming on this podcast, man, and spreading the light to your new single. Can you let everybody know where to find you and how to find you and where your music so they can download it and go stream it for you, big dog? Yeah, right now my music is only lo- uh, located at BandLab, but I at I am this trap. But if you show me support, for sure, I may, I might keep expanding. Absolutely, man. So you have no Instagram. Yeah, right now I I'm just located at Band Lab at the moment. Okay, all right, man. So uh, can you discuss a little bit about the new single that you got going out so everybody can go tune into it? Yeah, sure. So the single is called "Move Out My Way." I'm a star, and it's nothing serious about it. So I just took a Super Mario beat and rapped along with it. Actually, it was inspired by Gamers uh, Unite Challenge that BandLab had hosted. So I wanted to make something, you know, gaming themes. Also had a bit of rap in it. So yeah, go check it out. Absolutely. So everybody out here that's listening right now and tuning into the interview, can you describe your music to them, man? Sure. So... I'm not that kind of artist that has like a main topic to go around in every music. Like I'm not centered towards something. I, when I debuted, I debuted with "I'm the Shit," but now from "I'm the Shit," that is a hard trap song. I classify it as a trap song, hard trap song. I went to a Super Mario beats. I even have other songs which you can vibe to. So yeah, I am. I'm spread. And I don't only do trap. I do other other things as well. I do R and B. I do rap. I do even main pop, but not very much. So yeah. Okay, man. So, uh, can you explain what are your biggest influences? Sure. So we can all agree that Eminem is one of the greatest rappers, and of course, he he has had a, a big influence on me. Uh. I can also state Lil Wayne, Drake. You know, Young Money as a whole has has been a game changer, even if not. The weekend. So yeah, major these are. Okay, so oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me ask you this, man. How did you discover Band Lab? So yeah, uh, I was just looking for an application that. You know, had a built-in booth which I where I could just upload beats and I could rap along. So I happened to to find BandLab on Play Store. I downloaded it. I didn't even know that it had a whole community in it with challenges and opportunities and stuff like that. So I happened to download it in the beginning of June, and I was just in time for the June challenges. And you know, I just. I just listened to the the first beat, the this fire beat. I just rapped along with it. I did on the shit, and I started getting some attention. So yeah, then I kept going. So um, can we uh, can you give us a little bit of detail about the bands that you are in? I know you're in Space Cadets and Supreme Team. Yeah. So actually, I was added to both of these. Uh, teams after I dropped on the shit that gave me like I kind of blew up if I can say that I'm not pretty sure and I got I got collabs coming so stay tuned I also want to thank the people that added 
me to the bands that uh, believed in me for adding it. Absolutely, man. So, um, so what was it like growing up, man? I don't know. I don't have many songs out now. And, you know, it's only been one month since I debuted it. I don't have much experience. In doing it. But, yeah, it's fun. Uh, I like the, the community, both uh, the criticism and the support. You know, criticism is something you cannot grow without as an artist. And I'm here for it. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, um, so you started in June on Band Lab. So yeah. you started progressing and you were getting all this kind of attention and the feedback is genuine, man. And the love. Explain the feeling about how the community showed you so much support when you dropped your first track, man. Yeah, sure. So my first track was on the shit. You can go check it out on my band lab profile. And it was inspired by band labs beat for this fire challenge. So as I said, it was all random. I didn't even know that it would blow up. I just told a couple of my friends that I, I dropped a single. Look, I dropped a single. Go check it out. It's just for fun, nothing serious. I didn't expect it to blow up. So yeah, they they boosted it with some likes. I told my friends they went and liked and it moved up the charts. And then as it was moving up the charts, it, it grabbed the attention of uh, of other rappers and it even went up on trending. Now it has over 2.7k uh, views over 700 likes. I appreciate that. The wow, generation. that man, that's amazing, man. That's amazing how you had just got on this app and you just like, it's like an overnight thing for you. You know, and some artists, it's like that for. But let me ask you this, man. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Um, okay, that's very, that's a very nice question, actually. I don't know. I think I would collab with Triple X. Because he he is such uh like he has a variety of songs going from from look at me to songs such as moonlight he can do anything like he can vibe to anything and i like these this kind of artists are like my type of thing so uh from here on and now are you going to be able dropping any albums anytime soon since you know the support's there for you is there any special projects that you got in mind besides the single? Actually, uh, for as long as I've been in Band Lab, I I don't think that this is like a, a very perfect platform to drop an album because I don't think I, I will get the attention because an album is great work to do. And I'd rather drop single after single rather than a whole bunch of songs because I might I think that they might not get the attention they need. Oh, okay. So, uh, so after you drop this single, do you know, do you have a specific date you're going to release it or you're not sure about that? Oh, I'm actually recording. So I've not even finished, but I think it's coming really soon. It's coming. Is, is it going to be with, is it just going to be you or are you going to have a feature on it? Solo, solo. Only me. Only you? Okay. All right. That's what's up, man. Um, do you got any special shout-outs you want to give, Big Dog? Yeah, sure. Actually, shout-out to ty to lit for putting me in a track and in Supreme Team Band. He's been one of the, the realest you know, members of Band Lab and has shown me genuine support, and I really appreciate that. So shout-out to him. Hell yeah, man. So uh, you got anything else you, you want me to touch on before we close this out? I think that's all. Like, I thank everybody for the support and everything. All right, man. 
Well, there you go, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Go to bandlab.com forward slash I am Distrap and go follow his music. He's one of the top artists of Supreme Team that I've seen so far. I know this man right now is going to be working hard for his craft. Just keep his support for him. Let him know that we're all rooting him to be successful in this. And I appreciate you coming on this podcast, man, and chopping it up with me and letting everybody else know that's beyond for the band lab. Yeah, absolutely, man. And maybe if the support keeps on coming for you, man, drop an album. We'll get you back on the podcast. We'll do a part two to this. So, man, Worth, man. Keep, keep, keep doing the great work you're doing, man, because we, we need more artists like you because you stand out from the rest. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. All right, man. This is Bye. Strictly for the Music Podcast, and we're gone.